Tasty. <laughs> YouTube. Uh, well, it's uh, it's another mixed bag in the UK today. Um, it was raining this morning, and uh, then the sun came out, and now it's a bit overcast. But it's warm, and at the moment it's not raining. So um, the car needs a bit of love. Um, the video I'm going to do is not sponsored by anybody. Everything I'm using, I've bought myself. It's not an instructional video, how to detail your car, anything like that. It's just me doing a little bit of work on the car after the winter to get the salt out, get the impurities out of the paintwork and get the shine back. So basically today all I'm going to do is a quick wash and uh, yes I'm going to use a sponge so for all the haters a sponge is out of always wash cars and will remain washing cars. I don't see a problem with them myself. Um, people go oh yeah you need a you need this special mitt and that special mitt and microfibers blah blah blah. Um, to me a sponge is a good way to do it because you can load it up with lots of water, you can flush the dirt off. Um, whereas I find with microfibers, I have used them, microfiber gloves, things like that, um, they do tend to hold on to the dirt a bit. Sponge seems to be better, so I've always used a sponge, so there you go, my explanation of that one. Um, the products I'm going to use are by a company called, I think, Pure Definition. Uh, I used them for a while, um, they're on eBay, uh, I'll put a link in the bottom. Uh, again, not sponsored by them, it's another promotional video for them. It's just stuff I've used, uh, along with Auto Glim as well, that I found really good. Um, they're a decent price and they do a decent job. It's as simple as that. And obviously when we're looking after cars, it's important to get a good quality finish, you know, with the best possible prices. So, I'm going to start waffling. I'm doing the intro in the car because it's still a bit windy outside. Didn't want to get all the wind noise going on. But um, this is my quick video. Enjoy. Cheers, YouTube. Can look at that.
Okay, so phase two. Now, one thing I'm going to say here, um, I did work in the car trade for many, many years uh, on all aspects, painting, polishing, um, repairing, uh, even commercial. So never underestimate old school stuff, T-cut. What I'm trying today is this pure definition diamond fusion, uh, heavy to medium cut. I'm going to give that a go and see how I get on with it. But again, never underestimate what's been out there for years. It's good stuff, Tika. Okay, let's get polishing. Okay, so that's the first cut done. Um, I don't know how well it comes out on camera, but um, it's got a pretty deep finish to it at the moment. So that's the cutting part done. As I said, well, the bonnet's done. Um, obviously, I can't film much of this because trying to hold a mechanical polisher and polish at the same time is, is virtually impossible. So I'm going to go around the rest of the car now, um, give it the first cut, and then it comes to the polishing and finishing stage. Right mess, doesn't it? Just sprays it everywhere you've done. Yep. A right blooming mess. Right. Right cock up. <laughs> 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 if you think it, say it. <laughs> what were you going to say? Cock up. <laughs> <laughs> Not a right mess. <laughs> no. <laughs> it is though. <laughs> Make your arms ache. This is the future. Okay, be prick. careful. I get a brick. <laughs> Evolution. How's it looking? Spotty. Spotty. Okay. Spotty. This is only the, the rest first is thing. shiny though. How long is this going to take you? Another two or three hours. Really? Yeah. The dog's got to go to the groomers. Yeah. This is the cutting part. All right. You polish it and you seal it. A shiny car. What for? So it shines. Are you selling it? <laughs> Somebody wants to pay me good money for it, yeah. <laughs> what are we going to get in this place? 
SLK. An SLK? Yeah. A hairdresser's card? Yeah. Do your deal, we get an SLR. What's an SLR? It's like an SLK. Right. But it's kind of got a great big engine in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember I have to drive it as well. No, you don't. <laughs> Why? You don't drive this. No, but if we're going to get something like that, my car would have to go. Why? It would just make sense to have one car, wouldn't it? How long we have two cars? Forever. <laughs> exactly. Is this economical? No. Is it practical? No. Okay. So, is yours practical? No. <laughs> but it's on an everyday basis. Mm, right, so but when we're but it's not when we're talking about putting three suitcases in the boot, it's not. No. So it's not practical. No. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's the fun. Yeah. Right. Well, that's phase one done. Um, the cutting. Excuse me for they're crunching with the gravel. Um, seems to give it a bit of a wipe down. Um, it does look like it's brought the shine out quite nicely. So um, yeah, looking pretty good so far. Got all the oxidisation off it and all the winter weather. Um, so there you go, that's what they used to do that. Diamond Fusion Heavy to Medium Cut Paint Polish. Uh, next on the list is a pre-wax cleanser to nourish the paint, apparently. And uh, then after that, it's going to be polishing itself. Um, this bit I might do by hand. Uh, I don't think it needs a machine polish, so um, let's get on with it. Again. You've got rid of your machine now, then. Cleansing and nourishing now. Oh, okay. I'll put the uh, polish on. Then I'll use the machine again to polish off. Wax on, wax on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got some grey clouds over there. That's not looking good. It's actually. Away. They were Are over they? There earlier. All right. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, we're not due any more rain today. No. And if you think of the wind blowing sort of this way, that's blue over there. Yeah. So I think we're going to have a nice day. Good. We can go out in your shiny car then. Can't get it dirty. Oh. It's got to got to stay on the drive now. Oh Keep well. Clean. We'll go out in mine then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it doesn't matter if mine gets dirty. You also get the same treatment, just not today. No. You know you've got your duster out. Inside needs doing. Inside the car, yeah, right. No, inside the house. Oh. Well, it's not a duster, that's the thing, so I can't do that. Oh, that's looking shiny now. You can see the sky reflected in your bonnet, look, the clouds. You can actually start to see more in this area. It's reflecting the paint. I don't think it'll come up on camera, but no. um, especially here where the lights are shining on it, you can actually see the fleck in the paint. Mmm! Mm. Right. I'll get this bit done. And then get the polish on it and seal it. Easy as. Seal it tight. <laughs> She's getting there. So that's the cleanser on. Next job is to grab the polish. Get a coat of polish on there. Keep it nice and protected. So today's polish of choice is Auto Glim, um, and it's not because the Auto or Pure Definition, sorry, um, is no good. It's frankly, um, I've got a friend who's a, a rep for these, and I bought loads of it bulk, so I've got loads to use up. But they used it for years. It's pretty good stuff. So uh, let's get it on the car.
is looking shiny. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is um, use some Caravana wax that uh, I also got from Pure Definition and uh, I'll show you that now. So this is the last stage today. Um, Midnight Reflection it's called by Pure Definition. Um, I did use it on the bonnet a week ago just to test it but um, I'm going to use it on this because it looked like it gave it a real good shine and um, yeah it came out quite well. So I'm going to do it old school and do it with my hands to get the warmth into it. So uh, let's go for it. Later. So, quick change of plan. Um, it's easier with this. <laughs> this is the preferred method. This is the future. Polishing off the midnight reflection. Very nice. That shines. Me like. <laughs> Just got to do yours now. Get all the red bloom off your car and polish it up and make it look nice. Because yeah, unfortunately. It's gone a little bit pinky. I mean, that bit's alright. Yeah. And then... And then it goes pinky. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I did do a test bit last week on that, and it will come up quite nice. So, stay tuned YouTube. Next project, Mr. Poo. <laughs> I'm calling Mr. Three though. Mr. Three. Okay, because it's three litre. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> right. I'll get on them. See you later, YouTube. Well, even though I do say so myself, I've done a good job. She's looking pretty good. Hello, there's YouTube. Now I gotta ride or die